uh, by either manager here. It doesn't look like it from a, from a Longford Town point of view anyway. Yeah, but just a note there at half time, I didn't have uh, something open there, so we actually got to see some old highlights of Longford versus Waterford, a thrilling nil all draw there a few weeks ago. So apologies for that. We'll have that corrected for full time and we'll see Christian's goal again. I hope you enjoyed that with the <coughs> cup of tea. Oh, it looks like Harps are going to soldier on as they were in that first 45. No changes made yet by Dave Rogers. Of course, he doesn't have a huge amount of options on that bench this evening. Just the six subs and one of them being a goalkeeper. So he hasn't got too many options. Harps lining up with a back three here at the start of the second half see if there's maybe some tactical tweaks uh, if not uh, personnel changes from Rogers here Victor Serenyuk good header back to Walsh Walsh takes no chances Christian McGerson had stayed on side but the ball never reached him Baba with a ball over the top and Walsh gets caught up under that one a good header away from Key and Byrne though here's De Silva De Silva met with a strong tackle by A. Dervin Hidanu up to Duna, Duna just leaves it behind him, otherwise Longford Town could have been on the break there. Here's Quivin Porter, good interception by Hidanu, who had an excellent first half for Longford. Look at that for strength from Hidanu into Christian McGerson. McGerson very quickly on the turn. McGerson beaten one, two, three Hearts players, eventually brought down by Noel Baba. And a free kick for Longford Town at the start of this second half. Great work by Hidanu, he got his head down and went running. It was getting a bit ropey in there, but a couple of crazy headers, a bit all over the shot, yeah. but really clean stuff from Hidanu. Ball over the top from Dervin in towards Whitmarsh. He's bent his run to stay on side here. He's done well to keep it in play as well, the ex-Cove man. He's had a great impact since signing just a few weeks ago. Hidano just hesitated there and that allowed the Silva to play the ball forward. I think uh, Harris had ran offside anyway, but Jack Brady still had to make the clearance and Harps will get the throw in. That's a, on a couple of occasions now, Harps with the ball getting it forward very very quickly so perhaps they're going to be a bit more direct here in the second half they were direct in the first half but it was very aimless stuff at times let's see if they can get it forward with a bit more intensity and purpose battle for possession here unfolding down below us Gurnji knocks it out of play it'll be a throw in to Harps Kevin Jordan who's booked in that first half he'll take this not too much movement from the white shirts out there so the ball goes down the line towards De Silva and the Silva easily pushed out of the way there by Gavin O'Brien. And again, all a little bit static there from Finn Harms, Gary. Yeah, it seems it's like idealist stuff. Um, you know, that type of standing around. We don't really know what way we're supposed to be approaching these types of situations. And you probably would have liked for those types of situations, particularly to be resolved at half time, because you need you need the situation. Harps haven't been good in the first half, they need to do better. You got there in the <coughs> Excuse me. Key and Byrne, nice composed defender as he takes it down and gets it out wide to James Duna. Duna to McGerson. McGerson thought Duna was on the move, that wasn't the case, but the deflection went the way of McGerson. Does lose his footing. Baba scoops it down the line here for Harris. And again, excellent defending from Kieran Hadanu. And he's going to try and carry it forward now. Maybe took a bit of a chance there, but just goes to show the confidence of the, that young man over on the far side. Yeah, really good stuff. Top notch uh, defending. Took a risk flaying it out, but he has the confidence to, to go ahead and do that. It's really good to see. Harps are taking a risk here. There's a four on three here from the kick out. Yeah, they've um, gone they've gone pushing up the pitch here to try and stop the short one. They've managed to do that. Brady now sends it up and it is four against three as Gary's pointed out at the back, but they win the first header. Second ball eventually falls their way as well. But they are definitely taking a chance with that set up in Harps. So they're being positive, but as you know, these gambles don't always pay off. They're rolling the dice here at the start of the second half, the men from Bally Buffet. Walsh, good ball into the feet of Whitmarsh, nice layoff to Gavin O'Brien, O'Brien first time ball forward for Gergi, back to O'Brien once again now, into Whitmarsh, his control is just absolutely oh, sensational, sick. good strength as well from Whitmarsh, tries a little extravagant scooped ball around the corner, at least it forced Harps into the, some defending and they've got more to do now, Serenia plays it to Whitmarsh and they just cannot get yeah. the ball away from that man's feet. 
Yeah, he is having a serious game. Causing so many problems, it's, it's like he's allowed to catch the ball. Yeah. I think the referee needs to check his boots for, for Velcro or something because uh, everything is just sticking. Although a leather ball wouldn't stick to Velcro, would it? But anyway, you get, you get what I'm trying to say. His first oh, touch God. has been sensational. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, and we were looking down here at A. Durbin lining up the free kick and we've missed uh, a Longford Town player going down holding his face and the referee is reaching for the pocket. It's only going to be a yellow card though for Keith Cowan, so I'm not exactly sure how he's reached that conclusion. The referee, Rob Dowling. It's, uh, I think it's Key and Byrne, is it? Yeah, it's Byrne that's gone down here. Yeah, it's his face. See if we can get it on the replay here. Uh, he's just pushed him, I don't yeah. think there's a, yeah, fair enough. Fair decision. That wall doesn't look 10 yards to me, but Derwin, can he find a way around it? He can, it's a decent ball. And I think the players have stopped there because the what? referee is late with the whistle. Yeah. The referee has blown the whistle after Durban has kicked the ball and uh, as a result I think every player on the pitch has stopped there. Thinking, Including myself, I thought yeah. it was a penalty. <laughs> yeah, that's and I actually noticed that in the first half. He did it, he did it, yeah, he did. Yeah. Yep. As we said, this is a, a referee that's maybe got a bit of ring rust and a sign of it there because he was uh, very poor in terms of timing of the, of the whistle there. And that was a good ball from Durban as well into a dangerous area so it's a shame that wasn't allowed to unfold. Melodian. Only way to describe that. Yeah, they say play the whistle, but maybe you have to <laughs> ignore the whistle this evening. Here's Ryan Flood. Harps the main creator in that first half. Gets the ball out wide here. Harps definitely sending lots of bodies forward. They've got three men in the penalty area here, but Longford not allowing them an easy cross in. That's good defender from Longford. There's definitely going to be chances on the counter-attack for Longford if they remain patient, because Harps are flooding bodies, uh, bodies forward here. Just I'm stunned after that mm. from from Four. the ref. Again, Ryan Flood. He's just dropped into a little pocket there. Longford need to keep an eye on him because he is their their main playmaker this evening. Instead, though, the ball down the line to the Silva. Good battle again between the Silva and Hidanu. Two big units. Ball goes out for a throw in in favour of Finn Harps. Yeah, it's a good battle there, and yeah. it's been all evening. There's a little bit of mouth in between the two of them as well, which adds that little bit of spice to it as well. No Baba tries to swing that cross in over his shoulder. He did well to get something on that Baba. Here he is again. Cross into the long for penalty area. Of course, Harris. Harris got first header on that. But uh, it'll stay in play for now. Joshua Gerzi just stood his man up. He did well not to lunge in there, Gerzi, and give away anything cheaply. Ball around oh. the corner from Whitmarsh. Gurgi in a foot race here with Flood. Flood did well. Block off the ground. Yeah, that was really good from uh, from O'Brien Whitmarsh. I, I didn't think he was going to be able to do that, but he gave Gurgi every chance pot on the planet. Oh, Brady. I wonder could he have let that just run into his area. He heads it up into the air. Oh, he'll get a second bite out of there now. Yeah. That, was, that was a bit inconsistent there. Of course, it's a, it's a very dry surface, even though the ground staff were out here flowing the water on last night but um, it's obviously yeah, still a very very dry surface given the current hot spells so that ball when Brady went out it was uh, probably a lot higher of a bounce than maybe he expected he's got too much on that ball out Brady as well but Duna appreciated the idea and he's got two balls on the pitch now Come on, lads, we only need one of them. Oh, God. And finally, we're back underway. And again, Longford Town forcing Harps all the way back to their own goalkeeper. That's exactly what Stephen Henderson will want to see up from the very top of the main stand this evening. Unfortunately, Henderson is suspended from the touchline. Ball into the path of Harris. Good couple of touches from Harris. He's in on goal. And just like that, it's 1-1. From absolutely nothing, Finn Harms are back in the game. They've been more direct here at the start of the second half and uh, that route has paid dividends. A ball up the line here. It's a good flick on and Harris, he's done really well because he's been pressured by Walsh. Good touches. Brady spreads himself as big as he can possibly make himself. That's a really good finish there from Sean O'Donnell. Or was it, Har it was O'Donnell, excuse me. I think I said Harris originally. But uh, O'Donnell has put it in the back of the net and it's now 1-1. 
We spoke about Harps uh, taking a gamble at the start of the second half, Gary. It's paid off. Certainly has, yeah. You were not 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 great from from long. For uh, oh, for McCarson there, he's straight in the yeah. back of the head. That's <laughs> Surely he should be stopping it at least for a head injury if he's not going to give the free kick. McGurston's gone down holding his head here. The ref is shaking his head there. I, he can only be shaking his head at himself there for another desperate decision. That's a very clear arm in, in, the, in the ear of Magerson. Taking an absolute eternity to get the game restarted here. <laughs> Does now drop the ball at the feet of Jack Brady. We can get back underway now. The Longford started that first half so well. They were certainly deserving of their half time lead, but a little bit slow with the blocks here at the start of the second half. And as a result, it's Finn Harps now with the momentum behind them. Here's Baba. Ball up towards De Silva. Oh, ball in the back of the net but the whistle had long gone at that stage I'm not exactly sure what decision the referee's given he's given a free in to Finn Harps here Harps fans won't be happy with that they'll feel there should have been an advantage but I thought then there was a foul by O'Donnell on Wall she was still down after a really strong tackle on him we might get a replay guys will we? Uh, let's see what we have here bodies all over the place here uh -huh. at Bishopsgate after that yeah, you can see O'Donnell, oh, he's gone straight through the back uh, of the watch, but the referee's uh, brought it back for O'Brien, yeah. excuse me, yeah, but he's brought it back for what he feels is a foul earlier on in the play, that collision involving the Silva, so. Wow. And he wants uh, to book someone now with a look at things here, it's going to be uh, <laughs> Kean Byrne that gets the yellow card. Uh, <laughs> what? I, have, I have no idea how that conclusion has been reached, but here we are. Referee not having his finest evening, I think it's fair to say. But we spoke about it in the first half. Lockford Town needing to limit these opportunities from set pieces and now flood 30, 35 yards out, bang centre of the pitch. Opportunity to have a strike on goal. This is built for a left footer, this one. Two man wall for Longford. Sir Redney Yuk and James Duna offering the protection to Jack Brady's goal. Flood steps up. Flood, what a strike from Flood, it's in the back of the net, it's 2-1 and Dave Rogers is on the pitch. He is absolutely delighted with what he's seen at the start of this second half and Finn Harps have turned it around. What a goal, my God, he absolutely thumped this. He did what he tried to do in the first half and that was bury it. That is a rasp oh. from Jack Brady with no chance, no chance. Yeah, I can't say fairer than that, an absolute humdinger and Longford Town somehow amazingly find themselves behind in this game yeah and with that Ryan Flood now Finn Harps top goal scorer this season that's his fifth of the campaign and uh, that was an absolutely sensational strike there from the American wow 2-1 yeah absolutely uh, Jack would be very disappointed with himself that was such a, from such a long journey I don't think I, there's, that's Flood steps up Flood, what a strike from Flood, it's in the back of the net, it's 2-1 and Dave Rogers is on the pitch. He is absolutely delighted with what he's seen at the start of this second half and Finn Harps have turned it around. What a goal, my God, he absolutely thumped this. He did what he tried to do in the first half and that was bury it. That is a rasp oh. from Jack Brady with no chance, no chance. Yeah, I can't say fairer than that, an absolute humdinger and Longford Town somehow amazingly find themselves behind in this game yeah and with that Ryan Flood now Finn Harps top goal scorer this season that's his fifth of the campaign and uh, that was an absolutely sensational strike there from the American wow 2-1 yeah absolutely uh, Jack would be very disappointed with himself that was such a, from such a long journey I don't think I, there's, that's hit with such venom and it looked like there was quite a bit of movement on the ball as well. I think the keeper has just been beating all ends up there. I think even the Harps fans themselves may be shocked at what they've seen at the start of the second I half. They're making them. their voices known. And it's uh, the Donegal men 
that for the second time this season are leading at Bishopsgate. One nil winners here earlier in the campaign. They lead by two goals to one now. This is a test of Longford's character now. Serenyuk beaten to it by Baba. Adanu beaten Harris to it on that occasion. Flood drives it straight into Duna. That's going to knock the wind out of him, but Harps wasting no time to see if Duna's okay. They're breaking forward here with Queeveen Porter. Good dribbling from Porter. Not a bad cross in towards O'Donnell. Swung a boot at her, but town defender got there first. It's out for a throw in. We saw on Monday, Longford Town started the, f the first half quite well, yeah, dominated large parts yeah. of the first half. A cove came out, bang. Started the second half very strongly, yeah. Yeah, and uh, Longford Town conceded, and that was the end of that. Not a bad attempted throw in there. If that fell away to Silva, he was inside the penalty area. He would have had room to get a shot away. Longford are getting ready to make a change over on the far side. Jamal Ibrahim here going to try and inject some energy and some pace into this town team because, let's face it, they have been flat here at the start of the second half. Hey, Dervin pops in ahead of the silver there. And Christian McGerson, he's that's been dragged and pulled That's another the card. That, that has to be another card. For a reaction, for a foul, for the whole lot, and that's another—that's a spot, third or fourth. Another, a, another poor, poor decision from the from the referee here. And it's going to be James Duna, who's still building his match fitness back. He's uh, going to be replaced here by Jamal Ibrahim. Half an hour. Adam Vernon looks like he's uh, making shapes there as well. Keen Byrne, long ball four, but straight into the gloves of Heimer. That's music to the ears of Harps. So we head towards the hour mark now. Longford Town gifting the ball to the side that have this 2 1 advantage. Heimer, good distance on that. It's a good header though by Keen Byrne. Good touch again from McGerson. Here's Victor Serenyuk, and he was just dallying on that one. Good tackle by O'Donnell, who receives it now off Flood. And Serenyuk reacting to his uh, earlier mistake. He's cleaned them out. He'd probably go into the book for that one. And he just needs to cool it now because he's getting involved in a verbal exchange with uh, De Silva. This is a town team, of course, who've had a number of players sent off in recent weeks. And uh, they cannot afford to go down to 10 here. So someone needs to get into the ear there of, uh, of Victor and just calm him down. And again, a chance here for Flood to get the ball into the area with that one to the left foot. That has done Longford Town such damage here at the start of the second half. Flood dinks it towards the back post. I think the intended target was Keith Cowan, but there's too much on it. It runs out of play. That's uh, the first time that Flood has wasted a, a set piece like that this evening. Jack needs to really inject more pace. He was. I don't think he's the only one. Yeah, no, I know that, but he needs to be getting these restarts done far quicker than he than he has been. Man, even him beaten in the air. That was a commanding header by Dahi McCallion. Ball does eventually go out of play though. <coughs> Silva seems to be winding up quite a few Longford Town players out there at the moment. Town need to just put that to one side for now. Let their Football do the talking, something they unfortunately haven't done at the start of the second half. Oh, oh, O'Donnell oh, oh, almost landed himself in a world of trouble there. And Walsh, he looks to be struggling there in that uh, foot race with De Silva. I wonder how much longer Longford Town will get out of Walsh. I think they expected that he wouldn't get a full 90 minutes in this evening, but uh, he seemed to be moving quite slowly there on that occasion. Quite laboured. Harris, ball down the line to nobody in particular. Keen Byrne. And again, this is where Longford needs yeah. to inject more pace into the game. Harris goes and presses Byrne. Byrne, as a result, just clears his lines. And only for a better touch there. Harps would have come away with possession. Byrne again goes long, but he's overhit this one. 
It's all a little bit scrappy here, but a head tennis breaking out. Danu's gone down injured now for Longford. And also down now is Aaron Walsh. This is starting to uh, go from bad to worse this second half for Longford Town. You can say that again. Poor old Key and the Longford Town physio. Must be the most uh, overworked physio in the country. Longford Town with around 11 players out through injury uh, in recent weeks, of course, uh, suspensions as well. And now they've got two players down injured. You just see behind the dugout there as well, the club captain Shane Elworthy, another player they're missing at the moment and they're really missing his experience here at the start of the second half because it looks like they need someone just to, to calm the entire thing down and add some composure because Longford looked rattled here in the second half. Again, a chance for both sets of players to take an unofficial water break. Managers can get some instructions in. You can see the fourth official, he's got the board in hand here, so there are going to be changes for Longford Town here. And uh, Adam Verdon's going to get ready to come on. And that looks like it's uh, the end of the road for Aaron Walsh this evening. It will be Adam Verdon that comes on. He's had a good run of games lately, Adam Verdon drops to the bench this evening, but he'll be aiming to show his manager that that was the wrong decision. Hopefully so, if he could get two goals it'd be great. Yeah. As for Kieran Hadanu, he's met his way off for now, I think he's going to come back on. So hopefully just uh, an impact injury for Hadanu. De Silva, a little header up the line towards Harris, but that header runs out of play. Danu back on the pitch, thanks to throw it. Durvin, good brave header with Marsh. Nice link up with Durvin. That's a good ball in behind here for Longford's goal scorer, McGerson. McGerson, he's outnumbered over there. McCallion with the tackle and the clearance, I think, from Porter. And ball. How was that not seen? Good strong play again from Hidanu. And Jamal Ibrahim, that's the first time we've seen him involved since he came on. Ball down the line by Hedanu towards Ibrahim. And that's cleared away by Dahi McCallion. At least Hanford Town making some sort of territorial gains here. The ball is good. Oh, right. Keen Burr is going to try this long throw again that he's obviously been working on. He'd probably like someone like Burr to be on the end of this, but look, if he's got this in his arsenal, why not use it, I suppose? I'll peg it in quick. Yeah, Longford need to be more decisive in these situations. Here's Byrne towards the front post, easily defended by Cowan. Cowan goes down, he's looking for a free kick. Referee says play on. The flood has made a good run from deep, but Finn Harps can't find him. Gavin O'Brien back to Key and Byrne. Byrne first back oh. to Serenyuk, and he put the Ukrainian under real pressure there, all the way back to Jack Brady, and Harps very quickly push up the field. Brady gives Jamal Ibrahim an awful lot to do there. It's got to be better from the town keeper. Ball down the line to the Silva, often the target from these situations. Good defending from Serenyuk. It looks to have uh, dropped back into the centre of defence now after mm -hmm. Aaron Walsh's departure from the game. Another hand, uh, hand out again on Jamal. Hidanu, oh he's got plenty on that one. Good header from Cowan, falls the way though of the winger Ibrahim. Here's Hidanu, oh, he's got way too much on that one. Gershi deserves a medal if he keeps this in play, but no, he's beaten in that race. O'Brien, straight onto the head of Baba. Baba heads it out of play. Didn't know much about it, it was just headed or played in his direction and came off his head now for a throw. 
Whitmarsh, great touch again. O'Brien, oh, great block. defending there. From O'Donnell. Uh, it was a poor, poor throw, throw in. in. Yeah, yeah. get Gersey a lot to do. Gersey says that he points down at yeah. his feet. That's where he wants it. Yeah, Magerson has gone a mile away into the box there. Better this time. But now Gersey has to try and make a yard for the cross, and he got no luck there, Gersey. He got the cross in, but the deflection yeah. came back off him and out for a goal kick. Heimer in no rush to go over and gather this ball. Why would he be? His team leading by two goals to one in this crucially important fixture. A win in this one really could inject momentum into uh, the winner of this game going into the second half of the season. Goalkeeper been allowed as long as he wants to take this one. <laughs> Great stuff, isn't it? Great header from De Silva. He's been very, very effective in the second half. McGerson heads it on. Cleared away by Dahi McCallion. Headed on there by Kevin Jordan. Again, De Silva involved in a good tussle. And Flood. Not sure who he spotted over on the far side. But Harps, as soon as that ball went out of play, they were rushing forward here to make sure Longford Town don't have an easy out. But Danu has to go down the line as a result. He throws it straight to a white jersey. Darwin does well to take that off Baba. Baba puts another toe in, but Longford get the ball up towards Whitmarsh. Great control again from Whitmarsh into Adam Verdon. His first touch since coming on. Here's Joshua Gurgi. Gurgi there, that's very sloppy from the young man. Just when it looked like Longford was starting to play with a little bit more tempo. Gurgi very careless with the pass. Yeah, Gavin O'Brien look, looks to be gassing here. Yeah, when you have so many players that are coming back from injury, that is uh, that is something that's likely to happen. Ball breaks the way of Jamal Ibrahim. Ibrahim trying to use his power there to plow through a couple of Harps defenders. He does win the throw in at least. We'll see if Kean Byrne comes up for this one again. No, I think Adanu seems to have quite a good long throw as well. So maybe it's his turn this time. They just need to get the ball in quick. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the pace of this game is far too slow for Longford. Oh, and a bit of indecision in the Harps defence. Gershie heads it on. Gershie goes down under a challenge ah. there from Kevin Jordan. That was never going to be given. So the decisions that Longford can probably feel aggrieved by tonight. I don't think that was one of them, though. We'll get a look on the replay, though, Gary. Uh, br dirt defending, like, <laughs> ball bounces like that. Yeah, no one taking control <laughs> of things there. Two bounces. <laughs> you know, not. But. Both, te both teams are. You can see why both teams are where they are in the in the division. Again, De Silva is really getting under the skin of some of these town defenders. He's uh, involved in some sort of incident here with uh, with Gavin O'Brien down below us. <laughs> uh, Michael Harris, the man that goes yeah, down there. Absolutely. This one's wow. a little bit further out and a little bit further over than where Flood scored from earlier. So, as good as he is from set pieces, I don't think he'd be taking the shot on from here. Brady just having a check of exactly where he is, uh, just in case Flood does go for a cheeky one. We say, oh, I'm actually trying that in the first half from a position not too dissimilar to this. Not sure what we're waiting on here, but Flood has a clever little ball down the line, almost into O'Donnell. But uh, good defending from Gavin O'Brien. O'Brien very wasteful with the ball out. That was a chance for Longford to work a transition, but they've gifted the ball straight back to the Donegal men. And then just a little bit of miscommunication there between centre half and goalkeeper, and that forced Heimer into a into a rushed clearance. It was Queeving Porter there, who I think eventually has uh, accepted the blame for that one. He's got the hand up. In apology to the goalkeeper, Dave Rogers straight out to the edge of the technical area to try and sort that out. He didn't like what he saw there. He wants more decision from his players. That's the end of Harris. Michael Harris replaced here. And it's going to be Damien Duffy to come on here for the team from Bally Buffet. Hasn't made too many appearances this season, Duffy, but big 15 minutes or so for him now. As Harps look to see this lead over the line towards the big three points. 
Whitmarsh has done well again to knock this into the path of McGurson. Whitmarsh gets it back from McGurson. Yes! And it's in the back of the net. Yes! Goalkeeper would probably be disappointed with that one. It was straight at him, but it was down low at his feet. He couldn't adjust them quick enough. And the ball's in the back of the net. And a huge roar from the home fans. It's been such a difficult start to the second half for Longford. But they've shown a bit of character. They've dug in and they're back in the game. It's 2-2. Yeah, wonderful stuff there from O'Brien Whitmarsh. Saying I like to say after someone does something like that, just power straight through, and I can't say it on commentary, but <laughs> I'll tell you one thing: this boy is a player. And again, we mentioned it in the first half, McGerson and uh, Whitmarsh. They haven't played together before. I'm sure they've had a couple of training sessions working together, but they look like two players that have been playing together for years. They're almost telepathic in terms Absolutely. of their movement. Absolutely, telepathic is a great word, and it seems to be in play here. Um, uh, th 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 there's plenty of stuff here for Longford Town, points are available, we need to, Longford Town and yes me, need to keep going. Let's see how Harps react to this now. Jordan plays the ball off Durban, throw into Harps, home fans really getting behind the team in red and black here now. Asking the player to move back three yards, like this is the... Key Cowan receives the throw, Cowan, long ball forward, Longford need to be decisive here. But uh, everyone was on the... Ooh, I just want to say everyone was on the same wavelength oh, there. And uh, no, Longford, someone needed to take control of that one. That's a bit like the chance down the far end a few minutes ago, Gary, where Harps let the ball bounce in the penalty area. When you do that, you're always taking a risk. And Longford, punished now with a corner. How severe will the punishment be though as Flood goes over to take this set piece for Finn Harps. Everyone back again for Longford Town. De Silva right in on the goal line. Header there from O'Donnell. Harps appealing for another one. Lino has the flag up though for a goal kick. I thought that came off Josh Gershie's head to be quite honest. Mm. Town, town fans asking more out of jo Josh Kersey. He's given plenty tonight and throughout the whole season. Yeah, I love his top goal scorer this season the with five. We, uh, yeah, this still uh, needs this to be quicker. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't understand what the what the hold up is. What they're looking for is move it on quick. Ready goes down the middle up towards McGarson. He's got a fierce and foe there though in Keith Cowan. Cowan with a good strong defensive header. Danu, great play from him. Whitmarsh, little touch to McGerson. McGerson knocks it round his man. He's Ooh. on the stretch to try and get to that one. That was unlucky there. And he did I just wonder for a second if he could have threaded that ball back to Whitmarsh. Brady, a little bit of a loose touch. He's done his job, though. He's got that out of play. That's all he had to do. For two teams that have had slow starts to the season, it's been an exciting game here this evening, it has to be said four goals and we might not be finished yet. Here's Shane McMonagall all the way back to Heimer. Will he be disappointed with that second goal, Gary, the, the Harps keeper? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, no, he, he will be straight through the legs. It was hit with serious venom yeah. though and it was about seven or eight yards out so those are tough. And defended again for Hadana to do but he's been up to the task almost on every occasion this evening Jamal Ibrahim injecting some pace into the game for Longford oh mother Christian McGerson just goes through the back there of the ref Ryan hasn't it, 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 this is the type of stuff the ref hasn't he's just blown the whistle he hasn't in, instructed anybody we're just assuming this is a free kick for Finn Hartz well I think Ryan Flood's standing over so I think we can safely assume it is a free kick here but we're only guessing inside. We're only guessing. The referee still hasn't decided, hasn't told anybody what free kick this is for. I think the town fans making their feelings known on the rest performance this evening. Flood up, gets the ball into the mixer. Baba was up. Oh, and it was one of those that just fell into a pile of bodies and a town defender eventually realised he was closest to it and just put his foot through the ball and out to safety. Kevin Jordan here. Getting ready to take the throw in. Jordan goes long. 
Little flicked header towards the back post where Hodanu was there and he's done well to find his goalkeeper, Jack Brady. Do it, do it. Brady, good ball up towards Jamal Ibrahim. That's good defending there. Had to be won there by Queeving Porter. Hey, Dervin. To Verdon, he put, Der or he put Verdon in a difficult spot. Verdon did really well. Here's Ibrahim. That's Long clearly a lot of ball, yeah. Jeez, eh, 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 put, put Adam Verdon under a bag yeah, of pressure there yeah. for absolutely no reason. Look at this for control again from Whitmarsh. Opens up the pitch with a ball into O'Brien. O'Brien springs the ball to forward. It, yeah. The ball was good, but it was a bit, a bit risky. A bit risky. Baba. Not sure what to say about that, really. It's not a pass, it's not a clearance. It's just bad play from Baba. He was uh, so neat and tidy in possession in the game here early in the season, but that was really, really wasteful there from the former Irish underage international. De Silva does really well to take that down on the chest. He receives it once again, De Silva. But he's dispossessed by Jamal Ibrahim. The all action Ibrahim him now carrying the ball forward for Longford goes down under a challenge mm. from Baba, nothing given. Didn't think it was much there myself. Porter down the line towards O'Donnell. O'Donnell, lovely dribbling, lovely close control, carries it inside. And it's 3 2 to Finn Harps! Damien Duffy, the substitute, has scored. But that was all down to the work of Sean O'Donnell. Brilliant dribbling and close control. And a neat pass inside, and it's buried. Damien Duffy makes no mistake, and Harps are back in front. Yeah, the mistake from O'Donnell, unfortunately, just kills Longford Town. And now, in a game that Longford Town should have been comfortable in, based on the first half performance, they're behind again. Um, I don't know, there isn't much to say really. Yeah, I think O'Donnell there deserves huge plaudits for his uh, for his dribbling and direct play over on the far side. He's really uh, turned the town defence there brilliantly, O'Donnell. And then he had the the composure and the calmness to pick his head up and time the pass wonderfully into Duffy. And Duffy made no mistake from close range. Drives it straight down the centre, and it's in the back of the goal, and it's 3 2 to Finn Harps. What a game at Bishop's Gate! So Longford from getting the equaliser and hoping for three points now, just be happy to take a point again as they find themselves behind once more in this second half. Again, Brady has to be quicker uh. there with the distribution. Here's Sir Edney Yuk. Sir Edney Yuk. Ball headed away by Cowan. Dervin beaten by Baba. Baba though leaves it there for Key and Byrne to attack, and Byrne does well to get something on that. Ibrahim not an easy ball to control. He's done well up until this point. Drag clean out of him. Yeah, Baba's pulling and dragging and nibbling away at him, and he should have had a free kick there. Ibrahim I guess a throw in in the end. Ibrahim wasting no time though. Feeling hard done by takes a quick throw oh, in. Ball. ball is switched out to Gurji. Gurji carries inside. Here's McGarson. McGarson tried a little reverse ball to Gurji. It was a good idea. Didn't pay off. This is better from Longford Town. Need to keep the pressure on now. Burn out to Hidanu. Clever header inside. Jamal on the turn. Has to check back again though. Good defender from Baba. Durvin. Good ball into Gurji. Oh. Gurji goes down under a challenge. Big appeals for a penalty. Not going to be given. Keeper had to be alert to that as well. He's done well in the end there, Heimer, to get across his line and not only keep that one out of his net, but keep it in play as well. Not sure if that... I think that was just... Yeah, we'll have to see it again. Just as Gary said earlier about Gurji's work rate, never in question as he flies oh. into a couple of tackles there. Key and Byrne sends it high into the sky. Jamal Ibrahim always up against it there, beaten on that occasion. Byrne heads it back up into the other half of the field once again. Long ball forward by McCallion, up towards O'Donnell. Hadanu took a chance, got away with it. <sighs> Keegan Byrne, that's not a bad ball, but perhaps had the extra numbers back there to defend. Oh, and Gersey absolutely clattered. Oh, 
Connors, he looks hurt here. Went in full blooded for the challenge. See that replay there again from earlier on? Yeah. Because I'm not sure how Gerji even gets something on it, unless it's the defender that sends it towards his own goal. It was a clever ball in from Durban. Yeah, Gerji did get to it yeah, first. And he was clattered. Mm, Kevin Jordan there taking a chance. But uh, he applied enough pressure just to make sure that wasn't too accurate of a shot from Gerji. So the defender did his job. Referee seems to want to talk to everyone but not make any decisions here. He's uh, really struggling to control this game. It's been a game that's been played in a good uh, good Has manner, Gary. Been There's been no bad yeah. tackles and the ref just really struggling to to move the game along and keep it flowing. And then gets in the way, you know. <laughs> oh, I, don't uh. know. I wonder if he's just uh, maybe lost a bit of confidence from... Yeah, he's, that's a foul. I don't think there'll be any argument there. O'Donnell has um, been pulled down by... Here and Hadanu maybe just an effect of that brilliant run from O'Donnell leading up to the third goal. I think it's shaken the confidence of Hadanu, who's otherwise had a really, really good game. And uh, would have expected him to go into the book there. <laughs> ah. Again, though, I repeat, Ryan Flood. Don't want to be giving him too many chances to get it into the area. He's got another one here in a really promising position. The score here, it's game set match. Flood, lovely ball in again towards the back post. Surely a handball. <laughs> did we get a whistle? We did, yeah. yeah. Not the most commanding of whistles no. either. Sure. Again though, Flood's ball into a really, really dangerous area where it caused all sorts of confusion and possibilities for Finn Harps. Durban to Hadanu. Hadanu skips by O'Donnell, but uh, oh. good covering there from Quivine Porter. Harps on the break now. Porter down the line to De Silva. And it must have come off a Longford Town player. I was wondering why De Silva yeah, was so, uh, Adam so happy to lift that. Yep. Yep. It's going to be another corner. Here he comes again. Ryan Flood. Ooh, uh, put Harps ahead for the first time in the second half with that sublime free kick. into the last five minutes of what's been a thrilling game here five goals so far and uh, we might see some more yeah here goes flood trying to put this game beyond doubt for finn harps he gets ready to take the corner ref allowing him all the time of the world a couple of free uh, free bodies on the edge of the area as well as towards the back post mcgonagall mcmonagall with the header and it was baba that got on that header back across the six yard box by mcmonagall difficult one to control though for no baba he just threw his studs out and it's uh, spun up over the bar in the end. But again, another really good set piece there from Dave Rogers team. Brady. Launches it forward. Yes. Again, just not accurate enough on that occasion. Durban over the top to put Harps under some pressure. That's a good header away there from Shane McMonagall. As uh, Whitmarsh <coughs> was... Very interested in latching on to that one. Oh. The Danu told not to take the throw in from there and will now take the throw in from exactly the same position. The oh, ball came onto the pitch. Longford sending the big boys forward. Keen Burns gone up from the back. Burn that ball was towards him. It's over his head. Durvin with a shot. Didn't fully get hold of it. Appeals for handball. Nothing given. I think the best Durvin could have hoped for there was that one was going to take a deflection and out for a corner. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping you weren't going to say out a deflection and in. <laughs> it would have needed a good breeze behind it, I think. Heimer trying to pick out the Silva. Too much on it though. And Rogers not happy with his goalkeeper there. down the line headed away Baba heads it back into Longford territory Durban heads it forward neither team able to get their foot on it here it's going to be a throw into Harps that's as good as anything for them right now run the clock down as we head towards the 
the 90th minute. and throw it down the line and that's forced Hadanu into a little bit of a messy clearance but Gavin O'Brien was there to bail him out of trouble Jack Brady needs to stay at home O'Brien has to just send it away yeah. but again this is absolutely perfect for Finn Harps they're exactly where they want to be I don't see the reasons I had to put it out of the stadium but <laughs> we're trying to get an equaliser here interesting to see now and I hate that saying I say it all the time uh, three minutes in three time something mad like that let's see but Monagal potentially adding to that additional time because he's taken an eternity over this throw in can De Silva keep it in play no not on this occasion he's been brilliant in the second half though for Harps every time the ball has gone up to him he's made it stick and he's allowed them to get uh, a foothold in the Longford half something they weren't able to do in the opening 45 Finn Harps they were way off their game in the first half but they've come out firing this second 45 and they have the advantage now as we head into the last minute of normal time Brady sends it high and long McGurson beaten in the air Dervin likewise Baba can only head it out of play Hidanu to McGurson Durban, lovely dribbling, but yeah. Oh, he gets the free kick. Yeah, and it was a foul. Good, good decision by the ref. To be fair to him. Adam Verden comes across. I think he wants to take this one. I'll sum it him. Five minutes added on. Are you happy with that, Gary? No. <laughs> it's better than three. Let's see what Longford can do in these remaining five minutes. Adam Verden to take the set piece for Longford. It's very central. Keeper could have came. He stayed at home. Two Hearts players go for the one header. Got away with it. O'Brien. Out to Durban. Durban. Unlucky there. Ball falls the way of the Silva. The Silva with a good ball into the path here of Duffy. But Duffy takes a heavy touch. Only for that, he could have been adding to the goal that put Hearts ahead. 3 2. Whitmarsh beaten. Harps have been much better in those aerial battles in the second half than they were in the first. We saw Whitmarsh really dominate in the half defence in the first half. It's, he's not had it all his own way in the second. O'Brien up towards Whitmarsh. And again, there we go. Dahi McCallion with a great header for Finn Harps. Not exactly sure what's been given there, but it's a free kick. Handball, the yeah, like, where's the card? Boots it down the pitch, no card. Introduction to oh maybe a little bit of game management here we've got a hand oh, yeah. down with cramp over on the far side it's amazing how cramp always sets in and out of time I think the referee gave him the uh, option of go off for treatment or get back to your feet he's chosen the latter there the Harps defender again it's Durban and Verdon standing over this dead ball for the town desperately looking for this late late equaliser fourth official getting involved now pushing them even <laughs> further back. <laughs> Eventually Verdon does take it. It's not a great ball though. He left Hadanu with a lot to do. Hadanu's picking up a knock for his troubles as well. Joshua Gurji smashes that straight into the face of the Harps man. He won't feel that one when they're winning. He might feel it in the morning though. That was uh, Kevin Jordan that took the ball. Square in the bush. Jordan down the line to the Silva. The Silva's done really well to keep that alive. Longford need to react to this loose ball. They've done that. Can they build an attack now? Ooh. It's a loose ball out from the back and latching onto it is Quivine Porter. What a tackle from Kieran Hadanu. Here goes Jamal Ibrahim. Ibrahim, he's just shown a little bit too much of that to McCallion and he's ran into McCallion. No malice in that one. Just his momentum carrying him into the Harps defender. But uh, Dave Rogers absolutely delighted to see his player putting his body on the line there winning an important free kick which will allow Harps now to run the clock down even further two and a half of those additional five already played
McCallion, ball down the line. That'll go through though to Jack Brady. You would have expected McCallion to stick that in the corner, not go straight down the middle of the pitch and gift long for possession. Can long for punish them. Adam Verdon's overran that one, and that'll be a throw in to Finn Harps. Not really sure what the idea is here from Longford Town. Pass it out, quick Not out, really and sure run, the running into holes, running into gripes. Yeah, from Verdon there, he's just ran down the cul-de-sac. So very little impact since coming off the bench, it has to be said. As you look at the likes of Duffy that's come on for Harps, and the bench has made a big difference. Heading towards the last minute of additional time. Finn Harps closing in on their second win of the season against Longford. <laughs> this is a move them above the town and the table as well. Last chance saloon for Longford, less than a minute to go. As Keen Byrne gathers the ball. Over by the far corner flag. Byrne takes a good run up. Harrells the ball forward. Headed away by Finn Harps. They seem to have been first to everything in the air in the second 45. Victor Serenyuk oh, just the ball booms it forward. Oh. You've got to just try and turn this Harps defence now at this stage. And there you go. Good old fashioned football. Sometimes it works. Jack Brady's headed up for the town. Nothing to lose now. And he almost got on the end of one down in Cove on Monday. Or sorry, in uh, at loan on Friday. Yeah, so perhaps he'll get his rewards this time for his venture forward, the Longford Town goalkeeper. Adanu to take the throw in. Brady goes up for the header, beaten in the air by Dahi McCallion. Durvin now the last line of defence. Durvin. McGerson. Jack Brady. Offside. <laughs> he has to get home now. No, I don't worry, that ball won't be. <laughs> probably won't be played again now this evening. I wonder if Heimer just saw his name in lights there. <laughs> Could he do a, a Tim Howard and launch that from his own penalty area into the other net? But Jack Brady is now just about safely home. And perhaps safely home as well, Finn Harps. Referee blows the final whistle. There it is. What a big win for the Donegal men. Trailing at half time. They've turned it around. They were pegged back to 2 2 during the second half as well. They've shown massive character, Finn Harps, and they've come away with a huge, huge win that will lift them above Longford Town going into the mid-season break and very much still in touch with those playoff places as well. Yeah, big win for, for Finn Harps, make no mistake. They um, Hard to know if they deserved or, or not, but look, they scored three goals. Poor defending from Longford in key points of the game. Um, great to see Christian Magerson get a goal. Benio and Ryan Whitmarsh get a goal, but I think that's it. It, it went from a poor evening uh, to a very poor evening in uh, a very short space of time for Longford. Yes, yeah, as you said, it's, it's been a problem for Longford in recent games that they've had a good 45 and then haven't matched it in the next half. And again, this evening, so dominant in the first half and couldn't carry that through into the second half. Yeah, it's been luck. It's been a story of the season I think I called it uh, earlier on in the game um, you know Longford didn't want to start the routine of really starting strong in the first half creating chances um, but yeah I think uh, I think you know and, and I was probably quite harsh on the referee I thought he had a dire game and yeah, I, and I think that's, Gavin and Pierce that's, is letting him know as well but Pierce yeah. of course only back from suspension himself so he has to be very careful what he says down there but uh, a very exciting game for two teams that have struggled for large parts of this season. They've uh, thrown up some really, really good entertainment this evening. But uh, Finn Harps, they'll be absolutely thrilled with this result. A huge win for them and it launches massive momentum into Harps' season now going into uh, into the second half of the year. Yeah, and it's a real hammer, bro, for, for Longford Town. They, they, uh, it was an important game, as he said, during the first half, I think it was, um, that we needed to react um, and you know impose ourselves on the game which was what we did in the first half 10 minutes into the second half 2-1 down ball burst on the back foot significantly um, and this does, this seems to be a, a recurring theme this is something that Stephen Henderson and Gavin Pearce needs to do today this cannot wait for the break it cannot wait for the holidays or the, or the you know the Sunday morning recovery 
this has to be addressed because it's not being addressed and we're looking at a season that was in danger running into nothing is uh, heading for a direct course right there yeah 